Well, Hellfire, it has rocked a riff, and I am back for another Metalhead Envy. And this suggestion came from, if I can pull up my shit, the handle Meow Meow. <laughs> now, listen here, Meow. And uh, was talking about some other KubaCon songs for me to check out, which I'm going to keep diving into that band. Uh told me said said that uh in that video i said i'm a big i'm a big prog guy i play in a prog metal band uh which you can check us out here on youtube as well uh link in the bio and all that but uh i could speak right uh meow meow said i'm also a fan of prog dude you need to check out Parias, a signal heard throughout space if you're a haken or dream theater fan it's been on repeat with haken's fauna for me and haken is one of those bands that is like i'd almost well i do normally say haken is like my number one prog metal band i i think the shit they write is so good uh charlie griffiths and Richard Henshaw are two guitarists that I wish I had an ounce of their skill. They play and write some of the coolest fucking riffs I've ever fucking heard. And uh, so if you're going to compare Pariahs to Haken, that's a big, in my, in my music world, it's a big thing to try to compete with Haken. Uh, but I can't I can't already say that that album artwork is fucking badass and uh, Space Flight Dementia I'm this was the top track when I typed in their name and it, it's kind of funny because my own band we're we're talking about I don't know it's it's so funny is all prog metal people into space <laughs> Like my drummer I work with, that dude is so into, like I'm a big Star Wars fan. I love fucking Star Wars. It's my favorite fantasy uh, shit. And then he's like super into space and all that. And I'm just, it makes me ask that question. If all us prog guys are super into space. <laughs> but either way, let's dive into Pariah's Space Flight Dementia. track list okay suspended animation I like that the acid lakes of Ganymede contact when I see contact it instantly makes me think of uh, the contortionist that's another like one of my fucking top 10 bands especially their first two albums fucking uh, their, their first two albums are just so good I really did clairvoyant a lot as well the third record, I'm kind of, they had the one song on there, the language one, Intuition. That song is one of the best contortionist songs ever. I just, the whole album overall was hard for me to really get truly into. But uh, I like these track lists. Might have found me a new uh, prog act to really dive into. <laughs> Like another album of theirs. Dude, their artwork is fantastic. I like that Pariahs Presents Tales from the Eldritch Realm.
reminds me of E.T. Bam a lot. Like that whole vocal shift and everything. It made me think of B.T. Bam. Which is cool, man. Like uh, my drummer, that's his favorite band. And we actually just had their B.T. Bam's bass player is featured on my band's second newest single we just put out. And I was actually going to say whoever the bass player of Pariahs is fucking sick nasty too. It's kind of prominent in the mix. I'm assuming that's by design, but I'm hearing all these bass riffs and lines he's running, or she's running. I don't know any of the band members. I don't know who's who's what, but uh, so far this is pretty fucking slick. I like this darker section. fucking digging the fuck out of this song this kind of falls into like a few of my favorite bands wheelhouses like i'm a big haken fan there's another group that it, this I, it makes me think of when i hear this now uh i don't know if i ever say their name right caligula's horse they're fucking sick nasty if you haven't checked out caligula's horse you are missing out there's also this other band, and they only have one album, and they're called Stargazer. Uh, but if you are a fan of this, uh, you have got to check out. It's called it, the al or the band name is called Stargazer, and the album is called Tuala. Tuala. If you can see that, but. Very similar to this, too. I think Stargazer might have a little bit more distorted tones, but very, very sim similar. And to me, to a lot, uh, I bought that album. I have it actually downloaded on my phone. It's one of the best fucking albums I've ever listened to. But this is all in my wheelhouse. Like, I, I could go ahead and give a high horn rating only making it two minutes and 37 seconds into this song because it's like musically for me the songs that truly stick in stick in my heart <laughs> let's say it, let's put it like that the songs that music that really sticks to my heart is ones that take me on a journey and whether it's a short journey long journey it's like this song is already it's five minutes and 29 seconds, so I'm already happy about the length. Uh, musically, it is changing up and doing some crazy cool stuff. And uh, everybody seems like they're on point. Plus, it's a lot of stuff being put together and becoming a cohesive machine that's just fucking uh, tickling all the musical funny bones that I have, if that makes sense. We get a badass solo in this song.
Okay. Did I hear a laser blast there? Pew pew. Pew pew. Yeah. Fade on the solo. Fuck! Dude. I hear that. Why the fuck do you fade on the solo? That was fucking sick. Okay. So I think I'm hooked. I think Pariahs has sold it to me. And I definitely am diving into this record. Oh, man, dude. That is a slick-ass fucking song. I just... Uh, you shouldn't have faded on the solo. That fade on the solo. I was going to give this song a 10 out of 10, but it's a 9. I got to give it a 9 out of 10 horns, man. Wow, dude. I was like, I was so in the zone. But uh, either, either way, I hear this and I'm so glad that how do I word it? It's like I've been I've been kind of worried about my own band and us. Like our two of new singles, uh, Toppleganger and Ghost Reset. We were using this this place where you can actually submit your song in and get reviews on. And the reviewers just trashed us, man. They I I don't know. Like the the website actually sent me an email saying that only 19 percent or no i'm sorry it was like maybe it was in between 16 to 19 percent of music that's submitted on there actually gets a good review and i was just like what the fuck man like that just makes no sense to me oh and another thing they're only required to like listen to 30 seconds of a song and I mean, we had people saying that I don't know. It was it's a it was a weird thing, and it kind of like discouraged me in the writing of my band's material. I love it. Like I'm a bit biased because it's what I'm writing, and I love it. And I, I I'm so blessed to be able to share it with the world and everything. But then I read reviews, and people are like, "Well, the song needs to be shorter, and it needs to have this. It needs to." repeat a couple lines and I hear stuff like this and I'm like no it doesn't like this song right here to me was a perfect blend of 
musician creativity, like fucking chopping your, showing off your skills a bit, but still being, uh, how do I put it? Like poppy enough to have a good rhythm and have a few sections that like, I don't even know how to word it. Like it wasn't a jumbled mess. It wasn't so progressive that it's almost noise, noise like, and just doing a million different things that don't connect. If that makes sense. And I feel like my own band, we do that as well. Like we're, we're always trying to do crazy stuff, but at the same time, our songs, we want to be cohesive. We want people to be like, Oh, okay. Like y'all motherfuckers can play the hell out of y'all's instruments, but still like, I don't know. Maybe that makes sense. Maybe it doesn't. Y'all have to let me know in the comments. If this ends up being your first time to my channel, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, give me some more band suggestions. Uh, if you want me to do some more Pariah stuff here on the channel, I will. I can't go ahead and safely say uh, I will be diving into this record. Uh, whether y'all suggest it or not. Because they've already hooked me with this track. And plus the album artwork. I'm already, like, this is definitely one of the things I do is I'll get on, I use Apple Music, and every once a week I'll go on to Apple Music, and I'll start looking through uh, new music released, and I normally pick a song, or pick an album to dive into, because the album artwork sells it to me. I'm like, oh, okay, what is this? Oh, I like this. But, uh, I guess I must have missed Pariahs. I want to say that one album cover that's like the Egyptian monster and all that. I want to say I've seen that before, but I can't remember if I dived into that record or not. Lots of fucking alcohol and drugs. And <laughs> I can't remember as well as I'd like to. Too much alcohol and drugs through the years. But uh, that was badass, man. But yeah, it just reminded me of bands that I love. Haken, uh, Caligula's Horse, Stargazer, Contortionist, uh, B BT Bam. It really reminded me of all that cool stuff that's that I've actually been drawing influences from for years now to work on my band or to write in my band. But yeah, I can't think of nothing else cool to say. So... Stay positive, stay rocking, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.